this is how i saved money years ago to relocate from ghana to spain it's been really some time now but this points and tips are still valid so i'm going to share it with you now let's go straight into the video Welcome to my channel Motivated and Inspired. My name is Mimi Fit and on this channel I do share content on immigration, residency, visa, sometimes fitness, sometimes about motherhood and a whole lot more. Especially also when I'm traveling within Europe but specifically in the UK and in Spain. But today's video I am going to give you tips for those who are planning to relocate from any part of the world to any part of the world. But many people do struggle with how to come up with the substantial amount that is being demanded for to be able to even be granted the visa. So let me share my tips with you. If you don't have a set goal, then you cannot work towards it and then you cannot achieve that. So for instance, let's give a typical example. You want to travel to the US. UK, you don't know how much it's going to cost you so to be able to know it and then set a saving goal towards that amount you have to do a research so the research should be one searching for the universities in the UK that offer the course that you want to pursue then you are inquiring from there the cost of fees also find out how much it costs for accommodation you have to find out how much it's cost for the visa the visa requirements will demand for a substantial amount in your bank statement so you have to know how much are they demanding for for example in spain they demand for 600 euros per month so if you're applying for one year visa then you have to multiply 600 by 12 months apart from that you also have to calculate other things like the flight ticket how much it costs by googling and just put in your departure destination to arriving destination so you do a rough calculation to know how much you need to save towards now that you know the amount we have our goal I want to make it clear, loud and clear, that at the time that I was preparing to relocate, I was dating someone who was supporting me financially. But his support would have been useless if I was not applying these tips and tricks to be able to save towards my goal. Now, if you do not have anyone in your life, like you don't have parents who are going to support you financially or don't have friends or any um, means to gain any loan or to sell any of your property to be able to gain that amount of money you want, then it all has to depend on your income, which means you're working or you're having some income from some business or investment that you are into. I was very, very strict. I had a first goal, first of all, when I started working as a freelance. I stopped working because my work was paying me shit. I was being paid 250 Ghana cities in 2011. So I decided already that I was going to leave my job. I saved up and was able to quit. When I started setting this goal, I was working as a freelance. There, I decided that I have to make my first 10,000 cities in my life. I was charging 40 to 60 Ghana cities for locals, 100 cities for foreigners. And so yes, I could afford saving 10,000 Ghana cities at that time. I just gave myself a year. I was not going out and partying unnecessarily. If I go out at all, I'm going out to a salsa place once a while when I have the energy because my work was very, very stressful and demanding. And also because of my lifestyle, I was going to the gym and I need time to recover. So I wasn't over partying. Now, when you don't party, you save a lot of money. You save transportation. You save how much you have to spend on food, on, on drinks and even buying clothes all right so i saved a lot from that if i have to attend to any appointment that's professional work appointments i will leave an hour or even two hours earlier depending on the location so that there will not be a need for me to be in a rush 
in avoidance to take taxi where i will pay more so i will go with uh, the bus which is chocho in ghana i just go with my oils and towels so i don't need to carry any massage table whereby i will need a taxi so that was working out for me i was not eating out i was doing food prep i was buying from the local market madina market on saturdays i cook on weekends or any time that i don't have work from food to pastries to drinks i was doing everything at home and i saved a lot on that because i was not doing any takeaway or buying food from outside that amount of money that i would use to buy food per a night could cover like one whole day meal which is three times and some drink so that is what i was doing i was not also buying any shoes any clothes i am somebody who loves to buy shoes i don't really dress up much i just love buying clothes that i'll look good in them but to be honest i don't use them a lot <laughs> so i became very strict on myself and i stopped buying so i wasn't buying clothes buying shoes and i was saving all that money something that is really consuming a lot of money from like african women or black women in general is wig wig now as i mentioned earlier on i was dating somebody who was supporting me financially to some extent not that he was throwing money on me because he was plucking the money or he had nothing to do with his money no and this person really loves me to wear long wigs and look great i made it clear to that person that i am not going to invest money in buying human hair or any expensive hair right so guess what since he is the one who wanted me to look the way he wanted me to look he was the one sponsoring me giving me money to buy hair guess what i was doing when he gives me like thousand cities at a time to buy human hair which was really gibberish to me because of the goals that i have i don't know why i should spend that amount of money to buy someone else's hair to carry on my hair i will take that money and i will go to madina market and i will buy a synthetic hair that look really nice that is soft that looks gorgeous when you add some few products to it i go to the salon and i wear it at the end of the day all expenses will be less than 100 100 cities and yet i will look fabulously gorgeous and how much am i saving 900 cities 900 900 so girls you have to be wise the fact that somebody is spreading money on you doesn't mean that you should also spend that money the way they are spreading it on you be smart because you're never ever 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 going to get that money all the time so it comes easily don't let it go easily treat that money like you worked for it like you earn it that is what i was because of course i earn it i spend my time with that person so anything that is coming in it benefits me and i have to use it wisely so that was money that i was also saving freely during that period i was also using a very simple basic smartphone and this person wanted me to be able to have some feature on my phone i made it clear that i don't have that feature on my phone and i don't have budget to get a new phone this person again wanted me to have that phone so guess what he was the one who bought the phone so unfortunately <laughs> i couldn't save anything from it but i didn't use my money to buy something that wasn't substantial to my goal because i had the money didn't mean i should spend it on frivolous things that wasn't beneficial to my goal all i needed was a call or text message for my client so having a phone that does more than that wasn't going to bring me any income therefore there is no need for me to invest my money into buying that phone and guess what yes at the end of the year i saved my first ten thousand started a spa business started working in a spa had my own business running and i still didn't change even though challenges came in i was still saving a lot and then another thing that i also did i have mentioned it in other video was sometimes i was gifted in foreign currency like in euros i was saving that money i was not changing it and then 
having it in CD because you know the CD isn't that strong so it's more beneficial to have money in foreign currency rather than in your local currency if you're living in any part of Africa but in all of these I was working extremely, extremely, extremely hard. I was working tirelessly. I was working more than a horse. Even when I had workers in the spa, I was still working there. I was sleeping in the spa. I was doing the cleanest job. I was really, really working. So um, this, I wouldn't say it's hard working. I would say it's smart working. I had a goal. I wanted to reach that goal. I reached it. Then I had another goal to leave. And I knew that I had to save a lot of money. So I was saving a lot and working tirelessly. Also, some people pay in dollars in the spa and I was keeping all that money. Any chance that I have to save the foreign currency, I was saving it. So I went to Spain with um, euros and dollars that I didn't have to change just because I had them already. And my CDs, I used them to buy the flight ticket, was what I used in paying the fees, it was what I used in the visa application, what I used as gift for my family members before I left and other stuff. I had other friends that were coming in from the USA and from Europe and they were going to spend money so I made them change their euros and dollars with me also so that was also another way that I was saving in foreign currency so as gifts changing with friends and also from my workplace I was taking payments in foreign currency um, so that really really did help a lot cut out all the unnecessary expenses think about it do I need this is this going to add up towards my project or my goal Goal. if it's not then don't do it don't invest into it it has all got to do with your time your time is money if i go and party i don't have energy to be able to work when i'm being called by a client or when i get a job so for that reason i'm not going to party all this of course is a very 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 important place that i need to be with. and all of that money that needed to be spent on all of that i was saving it i was really 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 tight so if you're a person that your family does expect gifts or stuff from you, like there is a wedding, there is a birthday, there is a funeral, there is this and they expect from you. If you have that good relationship with them, you can explain to them, I am saving towards a goal. Don't disclose to them. That's just how things work for me. I don't like to disclose my big goals to anyone. It works for me that way. Silence. Just tell them you're saving towards a goal so you will not be able to support or contribute as much as you are being expected. Give if necessary if it's not necessary don't give because when you make it you can give a lot but if you don't make it well guess what nobody's going to mind you anyway so just explain to them if they don't understand you then they are really not your friends and family members because anyone who is your friend or family member should really be happy for you that you have a set goal and should respect that at this particular time you're having challenges you're saving towards something so this is all the tips that i want to share with you you can use these tips and save towards buying a home towards relocating towards anything but first of all don't forget to write them but you have to be specific so do the research know how much you need or what you need how to get it and then you sit towards it so i hope this tip does help you and i really wish you the very best i love to hear winning stories so i hope that you do win and achieve your goal all i can see is be you be bold do whatever you want to do say whatever you want to say as long as you're not hurting anyone but most of all stay motivated and inspired this is it for this video i will see you in the next video and it's adios stay motivated and inspired